Hi guys, welcome back. We shall be talking about the menstrual cycle by the understanding using the graph. Okay, so if I draw a graph here, if I draw a graph here, okay, so what is happening in the graph is then if I draw a line in between, that is the represent the 14th day. Day in this day, there is ovulation. In this day there is ovulation okay that's my name all right so here is the ovulation so what is the things that's gonna happen here here I'll draw the hormones okay here I'm drawing the pituitary hormones this side right so this is the graph you have to understand what is happening is that the initial few days there is bleeding initial few days there is bleeding that is the reason I have drawn it by red right so what is happening during this bleeding phase the FSH level is very high okay so what is happening if I draw in the graph see you can see the graph it will be something like this okay it is increased and then it will, it will become normal okay and normal during the ovulation it goes up, up a bit comes down and goes continue like this again it will go up for the next cycle okay this is a, this is what is happening for the FSH that is the follicular stimulating hormone now why do we need a follicular stimulating hormone to stimulate the follicles in the first place okay I'm drawing over the, here so this follicular stimulating will be hormone will be uh, catching off the primordial follicles to make them uh, enteral follicles so around six to seven they have been recruited okay out of this six to seven one is chosen as dominant follicle how you can see the FSH level comes down so whenever the FSH level comes down the follicle that is having the maximum number of receptor for folli uh, follicular stimulating hormone that can grow but the FSH level is less so it cannot recruit more follicles but it is capable enough to uh, make the follicle bigger so which follicle it is going to choose it's going to choose the follicle that is containing the maximum amount of follicular stimulating hormone right that receptor is there so it is going to grow slowly 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 it is going to grow and this this pattern it is going to grow and big follicle is going to grow in this pattern okay so now this follicle is being grown what is the size of this follicle the size of this follicle is 15 to 20 mm 15 to 20 mm and it will be producing estrogen okay why estrogen you can see you are having the you are having the cells here that is having the oocyte here and these are the cells what are the cells these are granulosa cells what cells these are granulosa cells okay and inside we are having the fluid inside this is the fluid this is the granulosa cell this is the oocyte and entire thing is the dominant follicle size of the dominant follicle is 15 to 20 mm and it is going to produce around 150 to 200 picogram of estrogen okay now once this estrogen has been uh, produced now this estrogen is going to proliferate the lining of the endometrium of the uterus so you can see the lining of the endometrium is increasing in size so that is the reason i've drawn in the graph size that it is increasing in the size right so that is why it is increasing in the size now that is the happening in the endometrium so this thing is also known as proliferative phase because it is proliferating proliferating proliferative phase or also known as follicular phase because the follicles are growing or follicular phase or follicular phase this is the entire thing happening along with this whenever around 150 200 picogram of estrogen is produced now this is going to give a feedback to the brain in order to release an another hormone that is known as LH before that this big follicle that is the dominant follicle is mainly producing this estrogen but at the same time this is the younger follicles the smaller follicles are also producing estrogen it's not that only this one is producing estrogen these are also producing estrogen so this estrogen will give a signal to the brain in order to release a hormone that is known as LH so I'm drawing a hormone here okay this is LH level is normal 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 whenever the estrogen is highest as this time so you can see a very big spike here okay the spike will come down and again the level will come down to normal okay this is known as LH surge LH surge means 
this will cause the uh, oocyte to fertilize oh, sorry this uh, this uh, follicles to rupture okay why it is a proteolytic enzyme the lining will become weaker and it can rupture so when it ruptures on 14 day there is ovulation okay that is the reason of for uh, by LH surge whenever there is LH surge slowly the remaining follicle that the remaining dominant follicle will slowly slowly become smaller smaller and smaller and it will shrink in size and will be produced will be converted to corpus luteum now this corpus luteum will be producing estrogen so let us try to draw the diagram of estrogen first okay you can see the estrogen was produced by this thing so the estrogen will be high at this level okay so i can draw the estrogen somewhat like this okay this gives an idea about the estrogen this is estrogen and as I told you, after 14 days, it's all, this is converted to uh, corpus luteum that is going to produce progesterone. So the progesterone level will be more normal till uh, 14 days. Then after that, it is going to go up. Okay, it is going to go up. And it is going to go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. And again, it is going to come down because corpus luteum will be dead on around 10th day of the ovulation. That is, it will go down. Okay, 9th to 10th day of the ovulation that is 14 plus 9 or 14 plus 10 that day this corpus luteum will die actually it dies on exactly on 15 days but the functioning stops around 10th 9th to 10th day functioning stops okay that is the reason progesterone will go up it will come down again this is progesterone right this is progesterone now this progesterone is increased in this pattern now the actual thing is that now you have to remember that whenever the progesterone goes up the follicles the sorry the endometrium will become now poly and will become more secretory it was polyphatic it will become secretory that means the glands will be become larger that will be filled up with fluids that will be capable enough to provide nutrition so this is known as secretory phase or also known as luteal phase both are same okay both are same luteal phase of uh, secretory phase and then again after some time this corpus luteum will whenever the corpus luteum dies progesterone dies progesterone dies means slowly slowly the endometrial will shrink and it will fall off okay then again periods will start in this pattern okay now there's another thing you have to understand whenever the estrogen is high here now this estrogen slowly dip and then again again it will be increased to a certain extent okay it will increase a bit and then it will dip back again why it is increasing a bit now this estrogen is produced by the corpus luteum itself so corpus luteum is mainly producing progesterone but is also producing a bit amount of estrogen this estrogen is required for the endometrium which is in the secretory stage to supply the blood vessels because this endometrium has to survive no that is the reason that blood vessels and those things are maintained by the estrogen but the entire thing is mainly sir, focused by the secretory that is produced by the progesterone and this endometrium needs blood supply and this supply is done by the estrogen that is the reason we see a estrogen getting increased in certain amount so that is the entire thing that has been uh, made in a graph that uh, how the uh, uh, menstrual cycle can look in the graph so if we draw here the ovarian ovarian hormone here ovarian over in hormone and these are the endometrium okay endometrium so endometrium grows due to estrogen and will become secretory due to progesterone why this progesterone will come from the corpus luteum why this will be converted to corpus luteum once the ovulation has occurred why the ovulation will occur due to LA surge ovulation will occur remaining will become corpus luteum corpus luteum will be supplying progesterone why there will be an LA surge because of this estrogen why there will be estrogen because why there will be estrogen because this developing follicles produce estrogen the main this one for produces more estrogen but this developing follicles also produce an estrogen a certain amount of estrogen is produced then it will give a signal to the brain to release LH LH will cause this rupture and these things will happen why in the first place why these follicles will grow in the first place it in hormone FS is follicular stimulating hormone so that is what has been uh, understood by the graph of the uh, menstrual cycle so that's all thank you